Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the step-by-step -step process and go over what it really takes to sell your house. Plus, I'll give you a lot of good tips and secrets and I'll show you why I'm different than other agents and how that's good for you and helping you sell. This is a bonus video and the reason I put it together is for most sellers, this can be a very stressful time. If you know the general path your home sales should follow, it tends to make it a little easier and a whole lot less stressful. Like I mentioned before, there are a lot of moving parts. There are over 118 variables that need to be coordinated, monitored, and done in a specific order. This is like setting up a domino display, and in order for it to work out right, the dominoes have to be knocked over in a correct order, otherwise the home sales process is going to be very chaotic and all over the place and very stressful to say the least. And aside from all of that, if it isn't done in the right order, it may never actually reach the closing table, which is the ultimate goal. And in order to avoid all that stress and strain, I'm going to give you a checklist that you can follow along with this video so you can keep your home sale moving in the right direction. You can break down the entire process into four main areas. Preparing the house for the market, documents and disclosures, marketing the house, and receiving offers and closing on the house. In order to prepare your house to go on the market, we have to establish your timeline and decide when do you want to have the house on the market. Then we need to work backwards from there and do a CMA to study the market and your competition and schedule a pre-listed inspection to take care of those items plus any improvements or fix-ups. Then we need to set the price. And remember, you want to be priced to sell, not priced to sit on the market and lose perceived value. And at this point, we also want to discuss staging and bring in a professional home stager to set a plan. And we need to discuss showings. The best option is to be as flexible as possible and allow showings on the buyer's schedule. For FISBOs, how are you going to show? Are you going to be present and give the tour? Or are you going to put up a lockbox and give your buyers the code? And when are you going to be available to show? Mornings, evenings, or during your lunch hour and on weekends? And what is your safety plan? It is unlikely but not impossible that something dangerous could happen. So just make sure that you have your valuables locked up and hidden and try to show with your spouse or partner. There's safety in numbers. That brings us to documents and disclosures, and when it comes to this area, the devil is in the details. For example, in a real estate transaction, verbal contracts are not enforceable, so you need to get everything in writing, and that's why you'll want to become familiar with these forms and use them when you sell your home. The contract will lay out the price and terms and set the timeline for when you will be closing. The mortgage payoff request will notify your mortgage company and they will give you the exact amount you need to pay off your loan with them. If your house is part of a mandatory homeowners association, then legally you have to provide a copy of the HOA rules and regulations documents to the buyer. And with most HOAs, you will also need to pay for a resale certificate that allows you to transfer membership into the HOA for the new buyer. And if your house was built in 1978 or before, you'll need to provide a lead-based paint disclosure to the buyers. And that's just a form that acknowledges that with the age of the house, there comes the potential that lead-based paint was used. And you'll also need a seller's disclosure that documents all the items, issues, and defects of the house. And this is a big one. I have a friend who saw this happen firsthand. He had buyers from Florida that were actually moving out of Florida to retire, if you could imagine that. And anyway, they already had their house in Florida under contract and they were selling it themselves as a FISBO. My friend helped them find a house here that they liked and they put it under contract. They told their friends they were moving, they had the moving company all lined up, and they had family here that were excited to have them back and close by. And then, bam. The buyers on their house in Florida didn't like something the inspection had uncovered. The seller said, oh yeah, that happened years ago and we already fixed it. Well, in Florida, like most other states, it requires the seller to disclose to basically tell the buyers everything they know about the house since they bought it, repairs, defects, what have you. Since the sellers failed to do that, the law allowed the buyers out of the contract with all of their money back. And because the buyers had already paid for the inspection, among other things, they successfully sued the sellers to recoup that money also. And of course this meant that the buyers lost out on the house here because they couldn't purchase without the proceeds from selling the house in Florida. Now their family was disappointed and they had to postpone their retirement plans. And the whole scenario could have been avoided if they had just filled out a seller's disclosure document. Now we're going to talk about marketing your home. And we've already gone over this in some pretty good detail when we talked about positioning your home. You're going to want to start by making a marketing plan. 
The key to this is having at least 10 to 15 great images of your house. Then you can make videos or post your pics on social media, and you can tell your friends and neighbors and send them some pictures along with some details of the house, plus everything else we've already talked about. Now we'll talk about receiving offers and getting to closing. This is a time when it's going to be good to have some friends in the business. You'll want a lender to make sure the buyers are pre-approved and a title company to make sure you can transfer a clean title to the new owners and you'll want to know a home warranty person since most buyers will request one. And these are just a few of the people that will be needed to successfully sell your home. Then you need to negotiate the offer and make sure you get the contract submitted to the title company. Within a few days of this, the buyers will want to have the home inspected, so you need to make sure that the water is on and the power is on if the house is vacant. And make sure you provide a way to let the inspector in the house and provide an access to the attic. You'll also need to be ready to negotiate any repairs the buyer requests. I suggest offering them some money in lieu of repairs because that can get ugly in a hurry when buyers say that you or the person you hired didn't do a good job. So it's best to just give them the money and let them deal with the repairs themselves after they buy the house from you. Also, you'll want to make sure the appraiser has access to get in the house. It can be a huge delay in the timeline if the appraiser has to reschedule. And they are very much in demand right now and a reschedule could take up to three weeks and then you're definitely not going to be closing on time. Finally, you'll want to receive and review the final closing documents, schedule a closing time and date with the title company, and here's a hint, they are always busiest at the end of the month. And you're going to want to organize the key exchange with the new buyer to give them all the necessary items, garage door openers, mail keys, etc. This is just a brief overview of the 118 variables that need to be managed to have a successful home sale. And of course, if you're working with me, you won't have to worry about these things. I'm going to take care of most of these things for you, and I'll keep you up to date when we reach milestones and benchmarks throughout the process. Well, I hope this gives you an idea of how I can help you sell your house, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions or you want to schedule a free consultation where we can establish the best price point and put together a plan to sell your house, just give me a call.